Hey everybody, welcome to an impromptu video. We are out in the field getting hay right now. Um, you can see all those bales of hay. We've got the horse trailer hooked up and we are loading up hay for the horses. Let me get it in the drive. We've got to drive along and fill up the horse trailer. So all of this, and we've just finished loading up the back of the trailer as well. There we go. So all of this is gonna go in our tobacco barn turned hay storage. Um, I think my trailer can hold about 78 bales and then the truck bed holds about 12. Um, I don't like to stack it too high because again, I am only driving a, a V6 so I can only take so much at one time. So we are just going to keep picking up more hay uh, and then take it on back to the barn, then unload it at the barn, um, and that'll be our storage. We're trying to stock up for the winter before hay prices get too high. So we are going. Okay, so behind me, you will see all of the hay that we're picking up. These are square bales. They run about 50 pounds, and each horse will eat about a half a bale a day um, that's a good forage amount. So here we are. Here's the horse trailer. Woo, it's bright. Here's the horse trailer and the truck. And we are ready to go. Ooh, stop. Okay, stop yet? Now we're stopped. Okay. fresh field hay picking. <laughs> we are almost done. I got to about 60 bales and we're getting up to about the trailer capacity. So that plus what's in the truck bed is gonna do us for another load. And then uh, we'll have to go unload it back at the barn. So the way we're doing it is we've driving in between the rows here so that uh, we can pick up uh, one on the left, one on the right. Just drive on, line up the back of the trailer with some bales, pause, and then we've got our helper back behind us helping load everything in. Um, so we're making good time. I think the trailer's about half full now. Um, and these, it's a lot cheaper to pick up out of the field too. These are um, about a dollar cheaper than if they're already stacked. Um, and we come get them. So if they if you have them delivered, it's about two dollars more. And if you uh, have them 
stack, it's one dollar more, and if you get it out of the field, then that's pretty much the base price. So, here's our farm that we're getting it from. This guy does good hay, and you can see how green the bales are being freshly, freshly stacked. We are driving back into the farm now. Here's our new quarantine slash special attention pasture right now. Then we're gonna drive back to the back hay shed, which I haven't shown yet now that it has its new roof on. So here we go, here's Napoleon checking us out. We're pulling a big old trailer, so I'm going nice and slow. Bumpy. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna cut over here. So this property right here that you can see this field is not mine or part of my property. It's my neighbor's, but he lets us ride on it all throughout the year until he needs to use it for hay in the spring. And then over here is the tobacco barn. We are just gonna back up to there and load some hay in. Yeah. Why is that happening? in there with our new roof that looks so good it's the reverse that was making that horrible noise okay that's better the tires must have just been getting stuck on something god I hate that noise here they are they're all watching us <laughs> saying is that hay for me it is just not right now so we're here everybody's very excited that we brought all the hay back and this is the oh sunshine hay here and then we're gonna unload this and take it over to our hay shed so this is it here we've got our little door and here we are in the hay shed. So it goes for quite a ways up there. Um, that's not even showing you completely. There we go. Um, and we've got all of these pallets set up. So we are going to get unloading. Stepped up. So this is 78 bales in here already. And we're going to tuck it up. We actually have a solar light. Let me see if I can turn that on. Well, it doesn't make much of a difference, but... Here it is, here's everything. We're gonna get back in. So after we got all 87, I believe, bales unloaded, it was time to keep on with the farm work and we had a big brush pile left on the farm when we got here. Um, and my neighbor had lent me his rake to help uh, take care of this pile. So he got a lot of the big sticks uh, and here I am going through the pasture, pulling up all the small sticks with the rake, dragging them over into the bushes, and then um, pushing them up into a big pile. So there I am. So this took uh, quite a while, but it's another necessary thing that needs to happen on the farm.
thank everybody for watching. Thank you for tuning in to this video about real farm life. Uh, it's starting to rain, so we're gonna try and get this done, but if we get wet, that's part of farm life. So thank you everybody for subscribing. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, and we'll see you in the next one.